Hey guys, this is Ken from KBD Productions TV. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a small banner or a page channel icon. Uh, that is the channel icon which uh, resides just above your video when people are watching your videos in uh, the normal YouTube layout. Uh, so this button will take them, will take people back to your main channel where they get to watch more of your videos. So let's get right into it. We're going to be using Photoshop CS4. Uh, this is the old version. Uh, it is right now 300 by 50 by 72. And that's, uh, I, I don't like working that small uh, when I'm working with artwork and stuff. So when it's something that small, what I'll do is I'll enlarge it two, three, four times the size and uh, work it there and then export it small. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's go to new. Let's go to 900 by 150 by 72 and a white background because YouTube has a white background. That's going to move this up for you so you guys can see the whole thing. Okay, first we're going to be putting in, uh, we're going to go to place. We're going to be putting in uh, my face, my face icon. So let's double click on that. It's on the desktop. And we're just going to move that over. I'm holding shift as I'm sliding that over there. Double click and we're in. So it got a little bit of white there, but don't worry about that. Uh, then we're going to, you can either grab text tool and click, and that will add another layer. I love working in layers, or you can click layer and then click in it, but there you go. See, I clicked text tool and I added a new layer, which is great. Uh, so KBD Productions TV, never heard of it. Uh, there we go. So that's in there, it's white, that's why we can't see it. So let's double click in this blue area. Uh, let's add a color overlay and we're going to make that black. Say OK. Uh, we're just going to size it before we do any more effects to it because the effects sometimes don't change as you size it which messes everything up. So we're going to edit, transform, scale, just grab a corner. I'm holding shift just so it does it properly. Um, so it scales it to ratio. Let's do that. Just so I can get it in there quickly. There we go. Make it a bit smaller, the height wise. That's good because we're gonna have a drop shadow. So double click it when you're done. And there we go. Now we're just gonna put some effects to it. Add a stroke. Let's uh, make it no too bright. There we go. A little more or on the orange side. I've got an orange black thing going on. Uh, and then we're going to put a drop shadow on it. And we're going to increase this drop shadow. We can just drag this little distance thing. And we, as long as you have preview clicked, then uh, you can see it live updating for you right there. I also like to have it uh, bevel and emboss. And outer be or inner, inner bevel, smooth, and that's fine as is. And one thing I like to do is change my font. I really like this impact 321, which is at the top because it's a number, I guess. Um, I'm just going to zoom out to make sure everything's in. See, my V is out. So we have to go to edit, transform, scale, bump this down until it fits. So there you go. There's your page channel icon all done. So we're going to export. Uh, but we're going to actually do a save at, for web and devices. And right here, you can say save it as a certain size, so 300. And of course, the ratio is the same. Uh, it's going to save it as a JPEG. It'll be down to 133K, which is very tiny. Uh, let's call it SM Banner. Whoops. Bammer. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a big microphone in your way and you can't read the... Can't see your uh, keyboard. Okay, so small banner, JPEG, done. And we'll go back to our channel. We're gonna be clicking this settings button in the new layout. And this button right here. It took me a while to find it too, guys. I wasn't sure what page channel icon meant. Uh, so I wasn't sure if it affected my main channel or if it affected the other small channel or the other small video pages. So I removed it. And we're going to click Choose File, Desktop, Small Banner that puts a little hyphen in there, I guess for the web. 
and then we hit done editing. Takes a couple seconds. Let's go back to one of our videos. I'm just going to shut this off. And that's not it yet. I think it's more of a yellow or an orange. I can't remember. Way back. Okay, so it's going to reload and see if it changes. Yep, it updated. So this one was a little bit chunkier, I think. So let's shut that advertising off. So there you go, guys. There's your page channel icon or small banner tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment. If you want me to do another tutorial on something you don't know about YouTube, leave a comment, email me, and I will make one especially for you. Talk to you guys. Have a great week.